Abominable is the latest movie by DreamWorks. It follows the adventures of a young girl named Yi as she tries to help get the Yeti Everest back to his home on Mount Everest. This movie is so good. I mean, to be fair, it's DreamWorks, the guys that made Kung Fu Panda, or the How to Train Dragons franchise, and I personally love both of those franchises. I wasn't expecting anything less in terms of storytelling. But there's so much that happens in this movie throughout that I just, I loved watching and just thought it was so cool. One of the biggest ones is that um, in the beginning of the film, it is revealed to us that Yi's father has died and that she has grown a little more distant from her family. Not because she doesn't love her family, she still does, but it's because she, what she wants to do is save up the money to go on this trip that her either her dad did or always wanted to go on. There are a lot of themes in this film about family, what that means, like what they should mean to you and what you should mean to them. And just, it's a very, I, I personally really liked that aspect. And it just, it felt very nice at the end, the way they resolved the whole family thing with her. Violin playing has a heavy part to play in this movie. I'm not going to go into why she plays the violin. If you've seen any of the trailers, you know that she does, though. The reason that she does um, is actually pretty significant for her character, for her development. And I um, personally, I thought that it made a lot of sense the way that they uh, did it and portrayed it. There are a number of moments in this film that were a little weird to me. I think the biggest was the reveal of who the villain is. That just felt a little wonky. But at the same time, it, like it, the way that they did it wasn't forced, if that makes sense. Now, nah, villain's great. The old man that plays him, the villain's awesome. They're just, they're probably one of the most fun random characters. Uh, there's an old man uh, adventurer in this who basically feels like a less psychotic version of the guy from Up. When I'm not saying that in a bad way or a good way, is just true. <laughs> Now, there are a good number of moments in this film that kind of just make you feel really happy. Uh, there are a number of recurring jokes, one of which is uh, the whooping snake, which you can probably already see where that's going. One of the characters that ends up being dragged along the adventure with Yi, uh, Jin. Uh, there's this... I really liked his story arc personally, um, just because of where he went from to where he ended up uh, felt really good good. Uh, the kid that's with them, Pang, he's also really funny. Yeah, no, all the characters in this movie are just amazing. They're a lot of fun and they have a lot of energy. Uh, the side characters, like the random animals that they come across, they're also awesome. Would I recommend watching this movie? Yes. It's highly entertaining, great fun, especially if you do have little kids, they're gonna love it, but you'll probably like it too if you're an older person, just for diff probably different reasons. Um, overall, this movie for me rolls an 18. Really adorable for little kids, great for adults, a lot of fun, and just, it's so entertaining to watch that I would recommend it to pretty much anyone that wants to watch this film. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Uh, tell me in the comments down below, what was a movie that you liked as a kid that you now like as an adult for vastly different reasons? Is that's this movie... Kids and adults are going to like this movie for two vastly, vastly different reasons. And I can tell you because I can see it from both sides. Anyway, that's all I have That's all I have for now. I'm uh, going to be trying to come up with an update video on where I want to take some certain videos and what I'm working on in a couple of days, hopefully. But until um, then, peace out, guys.